。好，各位同学午安。下午时段继续来进行的《Catcher in the Rye》的小说导读训练。前一次我们来到第二十五页结尾，跨到第二十六页。哦，那一句是 “There was a shower right between every two rooms in our wing”。哦，这边好像到了 “Barch in our m a y 我们从 “He was probably” 哦这边开始。哦，焦距调一下就开始。好。He was probably the only guy in the whole dorm besides me that wasn't damn elegant. He hardly ever went anywhere. He was a very peculiar guy. He was a senior and he'd been at Penn State the whole four years and all, but nobody ever called him anything except Ackley. Not even Herb Gell, his own roommate, ever called him Bob or even Ack. If he ever gets married, his own wife will probably call him Ackley. He was one one of these very very tall, round shoulder guys. He was about six four, with thousand teeth. The whole time he roomed next to me, I never even once saw him brush his teeth. They always looked mossy and awful, and he damn near made you sick if you saw him in the dining room with his mouth full of mashed potatoes and peas or something. Besides that, he had a lot of pimples. Not just on his forehead or his chin, like most guys, but all over his whole face. And not only that, he had a terrible personality. He was always sort of a nasty guy. I wasn't too crazy about him, to tell you the truth. I could feel him standing on the shower ledge right behind my chair, taking a look to see if Stratlater was around. He hated Stratlater's guts, and he never came in the room if Stratlater was around. He hated everybody's guts, dear Ned Daniel. He came down off the shower ledge and came in the room. Hi, he said. He always said it like he was terrifically bored or terrifically tired. He didn't want you to think he was visiting you or anything. He wanted you to think he'd come in by mistake, for God's sake. 好，我们今天就导读到这个地方。那。Holden Coffee 这个小朋友呢，他在阅读的时候，反正我们每次你有这样的经验，住校或是过团体生活，哦，就会有各种奇奇怪怪、形形色色的人会跟你住在一起啊。有时候生活习惯很不一样，然后他又是学长，哦，你如果学长学弟住在一起，那那你就会发现这样的问题，哦，这每每个人都有一些。生活习惯上面差异性很大，你就要去体验这样子的一个生活。好，那这个主角他不喜欢念书，有可能很多的原因啊，除了老师的问题，有可能是学长，或是跟你的 roommate 在一起的各各个各种奇奇怪怪的问题。那他这个描写就描写的非常好，那我个人认为 ，OK， 他他描述的哦这个。Salinger， 他 J.D. Salinger， 他描述的在这本书里面啊，非常的活灵活现啊，是非常好的一本书。好，我们今天就先导读到这个地方，感谢大家，午安。